How to celebrate the summer solstice. Now that the spring equinox is behind us, it's time to start thinking about how you're going to commemorate the start of summer. You will need a bonfire, freshly picked flowers, a visit to Stonehenge, a maypole, and a naked run. Step one, understand what the summer solstice is. In the Northern Hemisphere, it's the day when the North Pole is tilted closest to the sun, making it the longest day of the year. Step two, make a bonfire. Ancient civilizations believed that the fire they created would ward off evil spirits. Many cultures carry on this tradition today. Step three, pick some flowers. In medieval Europe, people believed that plants picked during the summer solstice had the ability to heal. Step four, visit Stonehenge, Britain's famous prehistoric stone monument. Because the structure aligns with the sunrise on the solstice, thousands of people gather there to celebrate the day by watching the sun come up. Other great destinations for celebrating the solstice include Sedona, Arizona, and Cairo, where an ancient sun temple was discovered in 2006. Step five, dance around a maypole, a flower and ribbon festooned vertical bar. That's a cherished tradition in Sweden, where the summer solstice is a major holiday. Step six, organize a naked run, if you can secure your town's permission. It's a new, but increasingly popular, ritual in Riga, the capital of Latvia, as part of their solstice festivities. Did you know? Solstice comes from the Latin words sol, which means sun, and stare, to stand.